With the advent of Twitch streaming, perhaps one of the most popular gaming activities today is speedrunning, the act of completing a game the fastest time possible in the respective category. To this end, players utilize advanced techniques and, in the case for the highly popular Any% percent category, various glitches and exploits to compete for the fastest time. Such glitches may involve going out of bounds, exploiting save mechanics, wrong warping, and even writing custom code within the game itself. Unearthing these exploits often require immense effort from a dedicated community, and speedruns represent the culmination of this effort. While certain games like Super Mario 64 and Celeste have gained widespread attention and fame, there are also hidden gems that deserve recognition. That's why in this video, we'll take a look at 5 of some of the most underrated speedruns that slipped under the radar. To keep the video concise, I won't be explaining all the glitches and exploits shown in this video. There are plenty of full speedruns, showcases, and explanations found throughout YouTube, so definitely check those out too. Number 5. Dog's Life If you're a fan of quirky and unique meme games, you're in for a treat, pun intended. Dog's Life is a kid-friendly adventure that was released in 2003 and gained some popularity after it was featured in Awesome Games Done Quick in 2018. Players take control of a Jack Russell Terrier named Jake. Jake's mission? To save his fellow canine friends from the clutches of an evil cat lady named Peaches, who has a twisted love for mashing up dogs into canned cat food. Don't worry though, Dog's Life 3 Plus rating ensures that it's safe for your kids. But don't assume Jake is an ordinary dog. Jake is a very good boy with some serious tricks up his furry sleeve, including boost jumping, sequence breaking, and clipping out of bounds. As such, bones, which are basically this game's equivalent of stars from Mario 64, aren't necessary to complete the game on any percent. Even outside of speedrunning, the game offers great movement and puzzle elements, making it surprisingly fun. And if you're a fan of weird and messed up storylines like me, Dog's Life won't disappoint. It's definitely one of the craziest ones out there. Overall, Dog's Life offers plenty of opportunities for optimization. The current Any% percent world record, held by Death Moans, stands at an impressive 12 minutes and 37 seconds. So if you're up for a hilarious adventure, Dog's Life is definitely worth checking out. Number 4. Kenna, Bridge of Spirits Kenna, Bridge of Spirits is a charming indie game visually and narratively inspired by Disney and Pixar, and mechanically inspired by Dark Souls. The game follows the story of a young spirit guide named Kenna, as she embarks on a journey to uncover the mysteries of an abandoned village and help restless spirits move on to the afterlife. From dense forests to ancient ruins and ethereal realms, Kenna encounters benevolent and malevolent spirits while uncovering a dark force haunting the land. Adorable friendly spirits, unfittingly known as the Rot, also assist Kenna in battle, overwhelming foes by swarming and temporarily immobilizing them. Furthermore, Kenna herself boasts various abilities, adding a lot of depth into the game's combat mechanics. Personally, I had the opportunity to play Kenna Bridge of Spirits, and I really enjoyed it. If you'd like to know more, you should check out our review. Anyway, in terms of speedrunning, Kenna is riddled with impressive game-breaking glitches, movement techniques, and unique strategies. Kenna may be a spirit guide, but even more so, she is a bonafide glitch queen. Clipping out of bounds, super dashing, and voidless hyper dashing are regularly used in Kenna Bridge of Spirits Any% percent speedruns. The world bore witness to the spectacle when it was performed by speedrunner Insert Logic on Awesome Games Done Quick 2022. Insert Logic is also the easy Any% percent world record holder, clocking in at 22 minutes and 19 seconds on version 1.15. Number 3. Ratatouille Fittingly, the French studio Asobo jointly adapted the heartwarming Pixar film with Heavy Iron Studios and various consoles. If you haven't watched the movie, Ratatouille tells the tale of Remy, a talented young rat with a heightened sense of taste and smell, who dreams of becoming a chef like his culinary idol, the late Auguste Gusteau. With the help of his human friend Linguini, Remy navigates the bustling streets of Paris and the kitchens of a renowned restaurant to achieve his culinary dreams. As for the video game adaptation, if you're expecting gameplay that simply revolves around chopping ingredients and throwing them into a casserole, boy are you in for a shock. Even though children are the clear target market, Ratatouille features surprisingly intense gameplay. The game features 33 levels, most of which detail the events shown in the movie. While Remy is definitely a talented, Michelin-worthy chef, 
He's also a master at collecting apple cores, clipping through walls, and platforming. Speedrunning Ratatouille surprisingly requires fast inputs and precise movement optimizations. For this reason, it has become decently popular and people are still speedrunning it to this day. However, Ratatouille remains unassuming as a speedrunning game. Most people don't expect this level of gameplay from a Disney title, much less a game that one would guess to only be about cooking French high cuisine. Of course, this isn't to say there is no cooking involved. Cooking exists in the form of various minigames, which adds yet another level of complexity to Ratatouille speedruns. PC is the most popular platform for this game, and the any% world record was completed just two months ago by speedrunner Wanu. Number 2. Gex Enter the Gecko and Gex 3 Enter the Gecko Developed by Crystal Dynamics, the Gex franchise remains one of the best old-school platforming games, yet few players speedrun this franchise for some reason. The main character is Gex, a secret agent gecko with a love for TV and movie references. Levels take place across multiple worlds in a universe known as the Media Dimension. Gex travels to multiple worlds to thwart his arch-nemesis, Rez's plans to take over the media universe and ensure the longevity of bad TV shows and Z-grade movies. Rez also leads an army of various TV characters from different TV worlds, earning him his nickname Lord of the Media Dimension. The most recent titles, Gex, Enter the Gecko, and Gex 3, Enter the Gecko, received critical acclaim for their great gameplay and level design. While Rez may command an imposing army, Gex is no mere pushover. In every sense of the word, Gex is armed with a sharp tongue. In addition, Gex wields a powerful tail whip attack and uses swift karate kicks to dispatch foes with ease, while effortlessly jumping and climbing to complete levels. There are many reasons why this franchise is deserving of the coveted number 2 spot. For one, Gex is a beloved franchise adored by fans worldwide. Secondly, the game features incredible movement options like tail bouncing to use objects and enemies as a springboard to reach new heights. Though it may not be a glitch, this mechanic allows Gex to break the developer's intended level designs if done perfectly, leading to more optimal routes being used instead. Also, both games are quite alike, and you'll often find speedrunners tackling both. That's why I'm mentioning them together, as it really wouldn't make sense otherwise. Gex's bread and butter movement technique is the karate kick, which is generally the fastest way to move around levels. And the most popular glitch speedrunners use is TV cancelling. This technique allows players to activate a TV button without getting kicked out of the level, and it can be pulled off in different ways depending on the environment. Usually, it's followed by a death abuse, where the game treats Gex as if he died and respawns him at the level's beginning or the last checkpoint, all while keeping the remote safely in hand. In addition, there are numerous ways of going out of bounds, such as repeatedly hitting a fly TV to spawn in a huge number of flies, which affects the game's memory and causes Gex to become invisible and effortlessly clip through walls. However, the most game-breaking glitch of all is the wrong warp where players perform precise actions to warp and skip entire levels. As a result, the Gex games have a separate category for any percent runs that exclude wrong warping so players can enjoy the game respecting its intended sequence. It's astonishing to note that a speedrunner by the name of Mystic Core has achieved a world record in multiple categories on both these games. For instance, the any% percent world record for Gex, Enter the Gecko on the more popular PS1 platform stands at an impressive 40 minutes and 56 seconds, while the corresponding record for Gex 3 on PS1 is a remarkable 23 minutes and 36 seconds. If you're interested in Gex speedrunning, you'll definitely want to check out the many runs posted on the platform. Released in 2003 by Inevitable Entertainment for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox, and by The Fizz Factor for Microsoft Windows, The Hobbit is a licensed adaptation of J.R.R. Tolkien's epic fantasy novel under the same name. Hobbits are actually a race of people similar to humans, of small stature and large, hairy feet. The titular hobbit in question is Bilbo Baggins, who starts off living in his cozy home in the Shire, a peaceful region in Middle-earth. However, his life takes a surprising turn when the wizard Gandalf extends a fateful invitation to join a group of dwarves led by Thorin Oakenshield on a perilous quest to reclaim their lost treasure from the fearsome dragon, Smog. In case you're wondering, the video game adaptation has no relationship with Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. The Hobbit is a self-contained 3D platformer that pays homage to Tolkien's beloved literary world with great fidelity. Like most 3D platformers, the game is divided into various levels, 
though in this case they're separated by a loading screen. As such, sequence breaks don't extend to skipping levels entirely. There are major skips that involve going out of bounds, however. Bilbo can also jump and use jumping slash attacks with slopes to gain extra height and speed. This technique is called a slope boost and is fundamental to the Hobbit speedrunning. Perhaps the most game-breaking of all are the menu glitches. By pressing R and A on the same frame when selecting Exit Game, an invisible glitched copy of the game's start menu will be made. This copy of the menu has a very special property. It could store the end level event if you ended a level with the glitch active. For example, by making a save at the end of an unexpected party, the first chapter of the game, then continue to the next level and make a new save, then load back into an unexpected party, cause the menu glitch again then end the level, the menu glitch will now be stored. The glitch can be utilized to bypass subsequent levels, simply by finding a text box pop-up that initiates the stored end level event. This game-breaking glitch led to optimizing the game down to menu glitches, which made the community establish a distinct category for speedrunning without menu glitches, dubbed any percent no major glitches. Speedrunner Shockster made history when he beat M Karma's world record, completing the game in an impressive 26 minutes and 30 seconds. If you're interested in The Hobbit speedrunning, I highly recommend watching M Karma's documentary chronicling its fascinating history that led me to making this video in the first place. These are just 5 of some of the most underrated games to speedrun in my view. Please remember to show support to the community members keeping these hidden gems alive. What do you guys think? I know I may have left out some games deserving of this list. If there are speedrunning games you'd like to be covered in the future, be sure to leave a comment down below. This is Arihand, signing out.